In the previous examples, we've seen how to use PSGPIO and do memory mapped read and writes using PINK. In general, we will only use MMIO for transferring relatively small amounts of data between the PS and the PL. Zinc and Zinc UltraScale have higher performance AXI slave interfaces for transferring larger amounts of data. These ports allow AXI masters in the PL to directly access the PS memory system. Before a PL master can access PS memory, it needs to know which memory addresses it can access. Remember the operating system running on the board is managing a virtualized memory system. We need to allocate PS memory and pass the address of this memory buffer to the IP in the programmable logic. The pink allocate class can be used to do this. Allocate will assign a contiguous block of memory. This helps with system performance as a contiguous block of memory is easier and more efficient for the PLIP to access. Performance is lower when accessing fragmented memory, and we need to use a DMA that supports this, which will use more PL resources. In this example, we will see how to allocate, and the next example will show how we can use the allocated memory from the PL. Let's start by doing a simple check on the available memory in the system. I'm calling out to the Linux shell, and I'm using proc meminfo to do this. Next, I'm going to import the allocate class and I'm going to run help. I can see that I need to pass a shape or a size for the amount of memory I want. The default type is 32-bit unsigned int, but I can specify the data type I want and I can do this using numpy types. I'm going to check the memory again. We've probably used a little bit of memory with the code I've run above, and this will make it a little bit easier to do a before and after comparison. I create a memory buffer with 10 million floating point elements, 32-bit floating point, or 40 million bytes, or a little bit under 40 megabytes. If we check the available memory again, we should see this number goes down by approximately that amount. This is a live system, so other processes are running, and free memory may fluctuate a little. The numbers may not match exactly. We can see allocate gives us contiguous memory. It also gives us the virtual and physical addresses for this memory. The physical address that we can see here is what we need to pass to the IP into the programmable logic, which we will do in the next example. We should free the memory once we are finished, and again note that the free memory numbers may not match exactly the numbers we saw at the start of this example. 